me and see me? Um, I, I don't know. Come on. All right. Hopefully you can hear and see me. If you could just give me a little five by five and make sure that you can see me and hear me. Oh, I have 13 watching. There we go. There we go. We're live. Hello, everybody. I see some really cool peeps in the chat. Lori, my goodness, you were in the hospital. I'm so glad that you're okay. And I see Tony. Tony and I had a little chat over on Instagram the other night. Super excited about that. Sven, what a champion, man. You always stay up so late to come and hang out with me, and I'm so glad. Timmy Joe, how you doing? TT and me, hey, how are you tonight? Um, oh my goodness, I saw Van City Prepper in here just a little bit ago. If you want to uh, let me know where you're watching from, I always like to uh, know where all my people are. It's Verbena Flower. I'm so glad you're back. I heard you got unsubscribed. I'm glad that you're here. So it is dark and rainy here in Central Florida tonight. Um, hopefully we have internet for the whole uh, for the whole time. And that'll be really nice. I don't really, uh, I don't really know. I got caught out in a rainstorm today, and my hair is like doing a thing. TT and me is doing uh, Manassas, Virginia. Oh, Tony's in Massachusetts. Oh my goodness, Sven in Norway. I can't believe it. I think in Norway it's the same time as it is in in uh, by where my son is. Lori, rainy and stormy here too. Yeah, I don't, uh, I don't know. Uh, Michelle, good evening from East Tennessee. What a beautiful area. I love Tennessee. One of my favorite states. Um, oh my gosh, the hospital kept losing power with all the storms. It's a good thing they have a generator backup. Hi, Michelle. Michelle's from Central Florida. She's my neighbor. It's the Banks Homestead canning hamburger tonight. My canner just shut off about five minutes before I was like watching the timer, watching, watching, watching. <laughs> Hi, Carrie. Carrie's coming in from uh, Pennsylvania. And Verbena's coming in from Alabama. Michelle J. Cloudy and humid here. Okay. Tammy Joe, we just have sprinkles going on here in Orange County. Yeah. Oh, Northern Michigan. Hi, Nene. How you doing? Charlotte Prepper. How are you tonight? So glad to see everybody in the chat. Just want to shout out some channels. And if you're new here, make sure you type that you're new so that I can make sure to say hello. Um, I think it's just the usual suspects. I see Sarah B. Hi, Sarah. Glad that you're here tonight. So tonight we're going to talk about solution-based thinking. So last week in the live broadcast, we identified the problem, which is everybody's bills are going up. My bills are going up. Everybody's bills going up. And honestly, I didn't think that I literally every comment was my bill is going up or I'm on a payment plan and my bill hasn't gone up. Proud mom from Maine. Hey, baby, how you doing? So um, we're just going to jump right into some solution-based thinking because that's pretty much how I try to live my life. Um, I, I identify a problem and then think about how I can, uh, I can get out of it, <laughs> basically. Oh, there we go. Carrie did some canning, caramel dip. Wow. 40 pounds of potatoes, tomorrow hamburger and beef tips. I uh, have a video coming out next week about what my uh, Walmart looked like for potatoes. Let me just say it was apocalyptic. It was like a movie. It was so crazy. And Katie S. Hi, Katie. Coming in from Northeast Florida. Love that. Got a lot of Florida. Florida representing tonight in the house. Has um have you guys heard yet that they're watching a little tropical storm out there in the uh in it's not a tropical storm yet, but they're watching a tropical wave come off of uh Africa and uh, uh yeah, it's 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 looking juicy. I really hope it doesn't come to anything. I hope it, it's a fish storm and it stays out to sea and we don't get any any yuckiness here in Florida. Yeah, I'm very interested in that caramel dip. So um if you could email me that recipe, I surely would appreciate it. Maybe I'll put it over on my other channel. Hi, Prepping by Faith. How you doing? Good to see you tonight. 
Yeah, I think everybody in Florida is just kind of keeping an eye on things because we are way overdue for a hurricane. Way overdue. Uh, no, already storms in the Atlantic. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm not feeling it. I'm not feeling it. So we're going to do some solution-based thinking tonight. And we're going to save some money on all these bills that are coming in. And they're so much higher. And people are having to adjust their budgets and their spending. So um, the number one tip, and if you have a tip, please leave it in the comments right now. And I'm going to... Um, I'm going to shout you out for sure. So number one that I had was write out your bills. So write out what it used to be and then write out what it is now. That's and how much did it go up? Like what percentage? And don't really think about yet what where that money is going to come from. But just make sure that you actually can identify how much it went up. If it went up by $30 or $40 or whatever, just write them out. That's, that's a good tip. Just know kind of what you're dealing with. Um, next, you're going to shop around and get some quotes. Uh, negotiate with your insurance. Uh, know what you're getting and what you're paying for. I've, I've had a couple of people reach out and say, yeah, you know, I, I called around to get a better deal. And yes, they could save me a lot of money, but then my deductible went down or they wanted me to drop my uninsured motorist. And I have to tell you something. My friend got hit, a hit and run. And I don't think the person had insurance. And as we go further and further into whatever is happening, as far as depression or recession or whatever words, I don't, I don't know what you want to call it, but a lot of people are going to be driving around without insurance. And you're going to want to make sure that your uninsured motorist is tip top. I actually called as soon as she came in and said that she had been hit in traffic and that the person had actually cut into a restaurant parking lot and taken off. And didn't stay to say, you know, hey, I hit this person and whatever. Um, and she does not have uninsured motorist coverage. So I definitely called my insurance company and made sure that I do have it. And that my deductible for uninsured motorist is the lowest. I got some awesome comments already coming in. Verbena Flower, I'm on a prepay power. Yes, mine's gone up by $50. So I turned the AC off and put up a clothesline on my back porch. Bravo. That's exciting to me. When people take the power back into their own hands, that's that makes me happy. Tony, Tony, I have a new friend waiting to teach me a class on stretching food and canning. Hey, that's awesome. You must keep your med pay and uninsured motorists to protect yourself. Absolutely. Hi, Carol. Carol's coming in from Southwest Michigan tonight. That is awesome. Uh, let's see, Sven. Yeah, hard to work from home as a taxi driver. And Sven, you're out on sick leave. I'm. I hope you get better really soon. Yeah, hit and runs do happen in Florida a lot. It scared her more than anything, but her bumper was all crunched up, and now she doesn't have uninsured motorists. So it's up to her to get it fixed or not. Yeah, switch to a, get a higher premium and uninsured motorists. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. So um. Just call around and get some quotes. Um, negotiate and don't be afraid to ask for credits and discounts. Recently, we've had a lot of cable outages and power outages. So I called my cable company and said, listen, I run my YouTube channel from home. It's a business that I run. And we've been having a lot of cable outages lately. Do you think that you could credit me back for any of those? And I was super nice. First of all, when I called, I said, listen, I know this isn't your fault. I know that you didn't wake up this morning and go, well, you know, yay, I get to go answer angry calls all day long. I was super nice to her, got her laughing. And then I said, you know, I was just wondering if maybe there would be a credit for me because I've had so many outages lately and it's really affecting how I can run my YouTube channel. And she said, yes. So I got two $15 credits for two outages that were over four hours. And she said, do you know that you apply for or qualify for a stimulus package for small businesses where you can get a $30 discount on your bill? What? So that was like a nice a nice bump. It was 60 bucks. I'll take 60 bucks just by being nice and asking. 
um, ask for discounts for cash. I have another video recently where I went to the pharmacy and I asked if there was a discount for cash on my prescriptions and they said yes. And I paid in cash and saved $6. And then um, cell phone bill is a great place to save money. If you're not on a contract, call them up and ask them if there's anything that they can do. Call your cable company and ask if they can bundle some, some home internet or reduce your amount of channels if you don't watch them. These are great ways to save a little bit of money on the monthly part and ask if there are any credits or programs that you qualify for because that is, that's super. That's, that's a great way to save money and always be nice because the people that work in those call centers get beat up all day long by people who are just nasty. All right, let's go to the chat. I'm seeing some really good comments. Thank you so, so much, everybody. Uh, Verbena Flower prepaid. Whoops, we already got that one. We already got that one. Lori, budget plan for electric is a must for me. My bill would have been $500 without the budget plan. Holy crud. And Carol coming to us from West Michigan. Hi, Carol. I think I already did that one. My goodness. I had some M&Ms before y'all, and my brain is now very, very happy with all that sugar. Okay. Lori says, I had trouble with car insurance. My mom always paid for it, so I didn't have my own car insurance. Now I am paying more because I don't have a car insurance history. Florida is so weird like that. Um, not trying not to use any appliances or AC during peak hours, which is two to seven here in Michigan. So here's the deal with my personal electricity company. I called them and they're a cooperative. And first of all, the lady was super defensive when I first called. And I said, listen, I'm a YouTuber and I just want to know, is there a time of day when we get a reduced rate? And she said, no, that we are a co-op and our electricity is always the same price, no matter what. So you can do it at six o'clock at night or six o'clock in the morning. It's going to be the same price, which was interesting to me because I know a lot of companies do offer a discount, but she said where we're a cooperative and not an actual for-profit company, even though we do still make profit, um, that they didn't offer a discount. And I was cool with that, but it's nice to know that I don't have to uh, do my laundry at 5 a.m. TT and me. If you're working from home and not driving as much, you can call your insurance company and tell them you're driving dress bleh, driving less and they'll give you a reduced rate. That's a great tip. Thank you so much. I know a lot of people that could call their insurance company and uh, get a reduced rate right now. Lori called Spectrum and got her bill lowered because of a government grant and having Medicaid. Cable bill went from $125 to $68. Bucks. That's half. That's great. I... This makes me happy when people take stuff into their own hands and get, get, you know, some, some, a win, you know, get a win. Even for unexpected charges like car repairs, ask for discounts when paying in cash at work for us. I'm glad that happened, Michelle. Yeah, I pretty much just ask if you have a discount for cash or a discount for payment in full. That's one of the things in my notes tonight was um, asking for a discount for payment in full. I know a lot of times if you have a medical bill and you pay in full, they'll a lot of times discount you because they don't have to bill you and they don't have to wait for their money. Um, my mom recently called up and got one of my dad's bills. Uh, she got a 35% discount by just asking if she could uh, pay it in full and get a discount. Farmer son prepping. Hey, welcome to the chat. Secure your winter preps now. And anybody who's here for the first time, make sure you shout me out so that I know um, that you're here and I can say welcome. Perilous Times Prep, formerly YFAM. Greetings, everyone. Hey, how are you? Verbena's all up in the chat tonight. I'm loving it. Did away with paid TV and bought the Roku thing and my son put it on my TV and now I can watch Oh, that's awesome. You don't miss TV at all. We haven't had cable TV in years. We have Hulu. Tony says, there's a government program that pays $30 a month for my bill, so my cell phone bill is free. Hey, that is awesome. Oh, Lori got her some iced coffee. She's ready to chat now. Okay. 
Oh, and a lot of people are doing that. They're calling up and asking for a discount. And like I said, make sure you're nice because if you re get them to laugh and you get them to remember you, they'll be a whole lot nicer. And you can catch more flies with honey than you can with, with uh, vinegar. All right. I was told the same thing by Central Alabama Electric Co-op and their meet up there too. Yeah, girl. She just was like, I know you're going to yell at me. And I wasn't. I was trying. I just honestly was curious. And that's what I told her. I'm just honestly curious. My electric co-op sent me a check. Oh, hey, that's great. Sometimes I think last year we got a credit on our bill of like $7. Tita, hey, welcome. If you live near a tourist center in vacation areas, they have coupons for local businesses for free. That is a great tip. And definitely if you wanted to do like an activity or maybe go out or something like that, get a coupon. I love my insurance because I was admitted, didn't have an ER bill, my pay for hospital state. Hey, that is good. That is good. And that's one of my other tips to uh, save money on your bills is to go to go to your wellness checks. Stay healthy and go to those wellness checks. Mr. B went to the dentist after a really long absence of not going to the dentist because it's not his favorite thing, but I put my foot down and made him go. He got a cleaning. He got two cavities filled and a tooth pulled, and he is going back for number two dentist appointment in November because that is the soonest they could get him in. So if you need your maintenance medications, if you need uh, your well checks, go ahead and get those scheduled, especially if your insurance pays. I know a women's yearly uh, through insurance is normally free. You just got to get in there and do it. Eyeglasses, whatever it is, don't put it off. Go and do it now and make sure that you're using your benefits of your insurance if that's what you're paying for. Lynn Stalker, I got my electric bill down by $58 by unplugging everything and not using the dryer. Bravo, lady. Well, well done. Checking with the local chamber of commerce may have coupons for new residents that anyone can request, even long-term residents. That is a great tip. Amy says, what do you think about the cotton shortage? Do you think there is one? Absolutely. Because if you can't grow crops, you can't harvest crops. And a lot of the places where we grow crops and harvest crops from are either getting a flood or a drought. And those conditions are not conducive to harvesting crops. So they're definite, we're definitely in trouble. Um, let's see. I think I'm all caught up. So I'm just going to throw out another one. Um, control your thermostat. I know a lot of you, when you gave me your tips and tricks, that was the number one thing was control that thermostat, hot water heater on a timer. Make sure that if you put it on a timer, that you have it for your peak hours and about two hours before and about maybe an hour afterwards. So that if you need to like do a little dishes or anything like that, you can go ahead and do those and not have to turn it back on. Um, we have a timer on our hot water heater. And then um, we actually turned our temperature down a little bit. Tater feels like he's not getting enough screen time. Hey, Carrie Berry, how are you? Oh, Charlotte Prepper said, I want to see the, I want to see the baby. We want to see the baby. There he is. There's Tater. He's a YouTuber. Um... Carol Renner, not using my oven, just using the air fryer, Instapot, and microwave only. That was another great comment left by, I've got notes. Do, 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 do. Who left that comment? Well, we'll get to those in just a minute. <laughs> Michelle was going to ask if he, she could see Tater too. And there, Tater got a new collar today. His daddy bought him a new collar. Yeah. <laughs> Tater needs attention always. Not even kidding. Not even kidding. He's he's way clingier than Cookie ever was. Hi, Linda. Linda Prepper's Kitchen in the house. Um, so definitely make sure that you're keeping that hot water heater um, off if you don't need it. And also with the dryer, a lot of people are using clotheslines and clothes racks and things like that. And that is really, really good to help save on that dryer. And I think we figured it out that the dryer, depending on how long we use it, is between 50 and 75 cents a load. And if you're doing three, four, five loads a week, that adds up quick. Um, 
make sure that you get your AC and your heater maintained, get it a checkup, tuned up and get the filters. If you need parts replaced, if you need any sort of, uh, you know, tune up on it, clean it, clean it because an inefficient, dirty unit is going to pull more electricity than a unit that's been tuned up, cleaned and is ready to go and get those filters changed. I know a lot of people use the reusable filters. And when I was back, when I was a single lady before Mr. B came along, I had a couple of reusable filters that I really stretched out for show. Um, let's go back to the chat. Oh, Florida Glitz. Hey, that's my neighbor. Uh, tonight I made the best black beans in the Instapot. Hey, that's awesome. No stove or oven. And, oh, don't eat my earring. Don't eat it. Don't. <laughs> he is a rascal. He's doing so good. The potty training's hit and miss, but he's doing really, really good. Susan Copeland. Hi, welcome. Setting outside lights on a timer or using solar lights. That is awesome. That's a really good tip. Did I miss anybody's tips? Let me just take a look. Everybody's saying hi to each other. I love that. Thank you, Amy, for watching the videos. I really appreciate that. Um, let's see. So we're going to be using our fans. No, we're not eating the paper. We're going to be using our fans, personal cooling or warming. I have an electric throw blanket in that I use in the wintertime because it's not really cold in Florida, like not cold enough to really turn the heat on. Uh, we have a heater for the dogs sad but true because <laughs> we don't want them to get cold um rice bags katie trapnel uh suggested the rice bags the ones that you microwave and you can put them on the back of your neck or put them in your lap to keep you warm fantastic idea when i lived up north we all had the rice bags that we used to put at our feet at night and then um slippers socks hats you know, you need to personally stay cool or personally stay warm rather than hitting that thermostat every single time. Um, another tip that I had was to pay on time. Avoid your late fees, your overdrafts, your interest, and your interest. Make sure that you are paying on time because those overdraft fees, I'm telling you, every time you overdraft, it's $35. Like if I had the money to pay on time and not overdraft, then I would have I would have already done that. But another $35 on top of that is just, it's just a kick, really. Who's your prepping nurse? Hey, inform the heat powered fans to sit in front of the fireplace. That is super nice. Hoping to put more heat back in the room. USMC, those insulated curtains help in summer and winter. You're absolutely right. Charlotte, I missed your comment. Put it again so I can see it. I went from like an eight to the 11. <laughs> Okay, um, somebody had a comment about an iPhone. Let me go back up and see if I can catch that one. Oh, TT. I have an iPhone 11 and there's supposed to be a new iPhone 14 in September. Waiting to see if they'll have the new phone for free to keep me as a customer. Figure I could save a grand. Hey, absolutely. If you have the chance to get a free phone, that is awesome. I have, uh, this is my phone. I use every I use everything on my YouTube channel. I film, edit. That's probably sometimes why you can't hear me. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I know somebody said the other day um, that they couldn't hear me in one of my videos. I know Tater loves earrings, and these are um, labradorite. So I really want to make sure I keep them. Okay. Uh, yeah, hoping power is going up by 16%. Oh my goodness. Yeah. My power bill has been raised by $8 three different times already. And we're only, um, at August. Um, I really like that comment about the rice bags. That was super awesome. And we're definitely doing that. So one thing we've implemented at the Biggs house, and this may be TMI, but we've been asking, does anyone else in the house have to use the restroom before I flush? 
because there's nothing wrong with that. We all live here. We all know, like, it's just me and Mr. B in the house. So you'll hear somebody from the other end of the house, like, hey, do you want to use this before I flush it? Because even if we flush the toilet, even though we have a well, um, it still costs electricity to run the well pump. And every time you flush the toilet, the electricity kicks on. So this is a new thing for us where we're just kind of shouting out, hey, anybody else want to use this before I flush it? It may be a little earthy or homey or whatever you want to call it, maybe just gross, but I will do whatever it takes to cut my light bill down. And I'm not kidding. Charlotte says she called all of her bills and they cut all of her bills, gave discounts. One company canceled my bill and forgave it. And that bill was over a thousand dollars. I have hearts for you right now, Charlotte. Hearts are coming out of my eyeballs. That is awesome. 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 That is wonderful. Potato, we can't do this, baby. <laughs> can't or won't. Michelle J. Also ask if the cell phone company will update your phone for free. We switched phone companies and got free phone service that works and a bill that still. Oh, that's awesome, Michelle. That is good. That's a perfect example of calling up and negotiating and taking the power back in your hands. Just because they say that that's your bill doesn't mean that you can't call up and get a better deal. And that's what we're going to have to do coming up in this new economy or whatever you want to call it, is if you want something, you need to ask. Susan Copeland, I heard in France that they're already shutting off billboard signs and streetlights to conserve fuel due to the gas crisis. I heard Macron come on TV and say that the time of frivolous living is over or something to that effect, paraphrasing, and that we need to prepare for what is what is going to be a very hard time. And I think that was prudent of him because the French love, they love life. And, you know, it's, it's going to be a hard time for everyone. Hi, Pauline. How are you? It's always good to see you. Charlotte, I'm just so, Charlotte Prepper, I'm just so happy for you. <laughs> See, I knew me and Mr. B couldn't be the only ones to share the flush. That's going to have to be the theme for the end of 2022 and 2023. Share the flush. <laughs> Hi, Carolyn. Thank you for letting me know that you're a new viewer. I am so excited that you're here and that you've been binge watching the videos and that you are finding them useful. Yeah, I was like, should I even say that? And Mr. B was like, please don't say that. And I'm like, I'm totally saying it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> number one, I get it. Number two, not so much. No, no. Number one, yes. Number two, no. <laughs> yeah. Charlotte's on her way to debt freedom. I love it. Mr. B and I have some uh, medical debt from 2021. We both had to have surgery in 2021 and we do not have medical insurance. So negotiating became my middle name as we negotiated with the hospital for bills and anesthesiologists and follow-ups and pathology and all. Oh, my goodness. It was a lot. It was a lot, a lot. <laughs> I use a jug free fertilizer for the garden. Uncle Al, that is awesome. If you can recycle your own urine, I'm all for it. <laughs> yeah, nothing wrong with leaving Pete in the potty. USA is the only country. Yeah, so um, yeah, a lot of people in the 70s, we had a yellow, mellow, brown down. <laughs> we definitely had that going on in the 70s because we, we were poor, poor. C'est la vie. White tiger is late to the party, but glad you're here. I go and take a shower and then, yeah, exactly. So, and that was um, kind of one of my other tips was to time your showers. We um, are timing the showers. We put on uh, the radio or, you know, like a Pandora type thing, which I have for free. And uh, at the beginning of the song, I'll get in the shower. And by the end of the song, you need to be getting out. So that's about four minutes-ish, you know, if it's a, if it's a long song. Um, and really I can do everything I need to do because I only wash my hair once a week, so I can get in there and get back out. I like to, uh, you know, 
have imaginary conversations with my shampoo bottles in there and, and live a very rich fantasy life while I'm in the shower, but that doesn't help me pay my bills. So I gotta, I gotta stop that. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> always trying for debt freedom. Something always just comes up. Exactly. That's what happened to us in 2021. We were doing really, really well and paid our truck off and did a bunch of things. And then, <sighs> and then two surgeries in, in like six months. Um, your biz, your home is your business. My son pays my phone bill and I clean his apartment every two weeks. Perfect bartering services. I love that. Okay. Carolyn says I've been waiting to grow a garden and start canning. Neither, never done either, but now's a great time to learn. Now is the perfect time to learn. Perfect, perfect time to learn. All right. It's never too late. No, no. All right. First time catching a live. Well, welcome. I'm so glad that you're here. Good to see you. Michelle says, since we live off grid, we have pots we fill and shower, can shower in three gallons. That's pretty good. Solar water for baths and showers. That's a good tip, Uncle Al. And then, hey, apartment prepper, welcome. I hope you and your brother are feeling better tonight. Cold showers, and why not pee while you're in there? <laughs> I only wash my hair once a week, rinse it out every night with cold water. Yeah, I rinse mine in the morning with cold water so that my curls will come back. All right. Okay, so... um. Then the two liter bottle in the tank of your toilet is always a good one. If you fill up a two liter bottle, you can stick it in the tank of your toilet and use less water. You're going to check for your leaky drafts, invest in some heavy curtains or blankets for the windows, insulate where needed, weather stripping around your outlets a lot of times, lets in cold. So these are great places to look and see if you need extra, you know, whatever. A thing of weather stripping is not that expensive. And think about all the heat that you'll save that's just literally going out the door. Um, cancel your subscriptions. I recently found that I really wasn't using a subscription to a newspaper that I had paid for. And it was a super good deal for six months. It was like a dollar for six months or something. And then they started charging me and I was like, you know what? I don't, I'm not really getting much enjoyment out of this. So I just canceled it. Um, don't use ATMs with fees. I don't like those. Okay, so it's 8.30. I'm going to give some shout outs to some wonderful comments that I got this week on my channel. Um, Carrie SD, love her. Um, she's been using her electric off peak. That is perfect. Lynn Stalker, who I saw here in the chat tonight, um, who lives in Ocala. She is putting her air at 78. Curtains are closed. She's not running the dryer and she is unplugging everything. Um, just want to break real quick. Beth, welcome to the chat. Hi from Texas. Uh, my son was at Fort Hood for quite a long time in Texas. Do you really think it's going to get as bad as people are saying? I think it's going to get worse. And I don't want to scare you. And I don't mean to be fear mongering. And I don't, I don't want anybody to walk out of my live feeling any kind of way. Look at the 11s, the 11s here. Um, what I want you to do is empower yourself. That's why we're here tonight. We are negotiating our bills. We're navigating these new times together. And so I never want to scare you. I never want you to feel fearful because um, it says in the Bible that we should fear not one time for every single day of the year. And I really do believe that, that we shouldn't, we should not fear. But I really do think that it's, it's going to be worse. Sadly. Yeah. What do you mean worse now, worse than people are saying? A lot of people don't have the skills that our ancestors had to go through one of those great D things that we had that YouTube doesn't like that word. Um, this platform has certain words that it doesn't like and the big D word is one of them. Um, but people don't have the skills that they had back then. We're so far removed from our food. I mean, do you, how many people do you know who have ever broken down an animal in their front yard? Or, you know, caught a mouse and fed a dead mouse to a chicken. Or um, even 
just cooked from scratch or did, you know, a lot of people know how to do great TikTok dances and, and create beautiful things and, and do wonderful, sing songs and do all these fabulous things because we've come to a place where um, in our society that we have gotten soft. We've had it way too good for way too long. When I go to the grocery store and I'm used to seeing macaroni and cheese, but I'm not just one kind of macaroni and cheese. I want six, seven, eight kinds of macaroni and cheese. And if I don't see all eight, I, you know, I'm mad. Or going to the drive-thru and getting my fancy coffee every morning, which I never do. I've never been that person. But can you... Uh, Imagine what it's going to be like for all the people in the Starbucks line to all of a sudden not be able to get a caramel macchiato or a, you know, half half white, half black mocha in the morning with soy milk or with their oat milk or, you know, whatever. And when those things are gone, what do you think their attitudes are going to be? Because they don't even make a cup of coffee at their house. And then when they realize that, that you have coffee and they don't have coffee, well, that's not going to be a very good scene. Um, we, we've, seen, uh, we've seen some very segregation-y, that's not really a word, but some very um, attitudes of segregation over certain medical procedures that may or may not have been mandated or not. And so... Can you imagine between the haves and the have-nots how bad it's really going to be? When we had the big D thing back in the 1920s and 30s, people lined up for soup in suits and they had manners and they believed in, you know, they believed in God and they were very moral people. Um, a man in Lakeland during the last hurricane was shot and killed because he had water in his hands and someone else wanted it. So that's that's where we're at as a society right now. And I don't think that drugs were quite as rampant as they are now, like illegal drugs. Um, and there's just so many, so, so many things that have changed so much in our, in our society in a hundred years um, that, I mean, obviously there was crime back then, but the crime now is just so terrible. So that's what I mean by, I think it's going to be worse. Um, okay. So enough sadness, enough of that. We're, we're empowering now. Speaking of chickens, I found a plant called biscuit root. It's in the carrot family. Oh, wow. Huh? If you can feed it to chickens. Neat. White Tigers always has the coolest comments. Tita says, when the Big D happened, Americans were more united. And nowadays we have extremists that fuse. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You can't even get people to order a pizza together. I can't imagine. I can't imagine. Carrie, I appreciate your channel and several others who do not judge who got. Mm, yeah. 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 The, the ouchie. Uh, crime will explode when people cannot afford food. You're absolutely right. You're absolutely right. Uncle Al, thank you so much for calling attention to the fact that we have 90 watching and 62 likes. So if you could hit the like button, this platform really, really loves it when people hit that like button. They just will push your video out so far and get your message out there. Chickens do love kale. Chickens love anything. Yeah. Um, let me just run back through some of these. Um, yeah. Yeah. You know, I could talk all night about how how so so many things have changed and all that stuff, but it's it's a sad topic. Yeah. Hoosier agree about being removed from the way our family before us. Yeah, and you know, my grandmother would talk about the depression and she said for an entire 5 6 months the only thing they had for breakfast and lunch was biscuits and blackberries or blueberries or wild strawberries whatever the kids could find as far as berries that's what they had with biscuits for breakfast and lunch for 5 months straight can you imagine giving a kid now the same breakfast 2 3 days in a row i mean some kids are like you know, yay, I want the same thing, but it's not pop tarts and it's not sugar cereal and it's not anything that they're used to. Um, my grandfather actually had to quit school in the eighth grade because his father passed away and he had four little brothers and sisters and his mother to take care of. 
he worked in a farm and um, they had greens and beans every day for lunch with biscuits. And the farmer's wife prepared that for them with maybe a little ham hock or whatever. And they ate it every single day, every day. All the farm hands ate the same thing. I mean, it, people now are, you know, I want to go to Chick-fil-A. No, I don't want to go to Chick-fil-A. I want to go, you know, wherever. I want to go to McDonald's or I want to go here or there instead of looking at another bowl of beans and greens with a side of biscuits. Carolyn, I went to Winn-Dixie to grab some milk sticker shop. $5, $4.99 for a gallon. I always buy my milk at Walmart, Walmart or Aldi. Won't make that mistake. Yikes, yikes. That is crazy town. Yeah, food fatigue or whatever is going to be, yeah. Uh, don't live in fear. Prepare while you can, how you can, and where you can. That's a great message. That's that's awesome. Uh, just, just a mom doing the stuff. Popped in late. Welcome. I am really glad you're looking up some cornbread recipes, and that is on my list, is learn how to make some homemade cornbread. So thank you guys so much for the, uh, thanks for coming in, Van City. Super appreciate it. You're probably already gone by now. Uh, Nene, crime is bad. Someone stole a camp trailer and a dozer in my area a few days ago. <laughs> wow. I know they used to keep in the National Forest when they were mowing or when they had work to do, they used to keep the vehicles out on the side of the road. They don't do that anymore. They bring a trailer and come pick them up. Carrie Newsom, it's time for everyone to think, to themselves can i make this at home if the answer is yes no reason so that's mr b and i have started doing that we paid 45 dollars for lunch out a few months ago and um we just couldn't uh yeah we we i can't justify paying 45 dollars for lunch without a tip i can't do it that's a lot of rice and beans that i could be putting in my pantry can't do it pie fillings that are canned seem to be getting harder to find in stores. Heads up for the holidays. Yeah. Um, let me just run through here. <laughs> My kids wouldn't care if they ate the same food every morning for breakfast. That's good. That's good. My, uh, my kids were really good about eating whatever basically I put in front of them. Uh, Beth Mitchell, my mom said they had beans and cornbread every night, beans and cornbread every night. Not even kidding. Maybe with a little ham hock, if you were lucky. Ah, this is awesome. This is one of my tips that I was going to share. I make coffee and put it in a thermos to keep it hot. Unplug the coffee pot. I've been doing that for a very long time because I don't want my coffee to burn. It's, that's an up North trick. When, um, when I lived up North, a lot of people did that. They'd start their coffee in the morning and people drink coffee all day up there. So they'd put it in a thermos and, uh, and just keep it all day long. Okay. <laughs> Save money on TP, get a bidet. We have a bidet. It's good for good cornbread. Check out pioneer woman. Hmm. I'm going to have to make mine gluten-free. So we'll have to see. All right. Yeah. Um, uh, was it Patera? I think it was Patera the other day who said that her grandmother refuses to eat potatoes um, because of the depression. USMC got three new canning books and get a variety on my shelf. Late to the party. Uh, yeah. Digging and sorting potatoes. I have a video coming out next week about potatoes at Walmart and it was $11.48 for a five pound bag and they didn't have any. It was insane. Okay. Uh, yeah, not been to a sit-down restaurant since December. The And the food is not that good. It just isn't. It's And I feel bad for people who own restaurants, and I want to support them. But on the other hand, I need my own money. And I can make stuff at home, and I'm a really good cook. This girl preps. Hello. I saw you on Instagram. Um, let's see. Yeah, that was Patera. Hi, Rita. I saw you slip through the chat there real quick. Yeah, five pound bag. I took some footage inside the store. I was editing that this morning. It was crazy town. Okay, so some more subscribers. Marlene, Snow Gardener 307, everything but the budgets. Love that girl. Love her. She doubled up on purchasing her oil change stuff. So they've gone back to changing their own oil 
and they actually purchased two kind, uh, two times of oil changes. Uh, heads up, if you have an advanced auto parts in your area, in September they have a bucket sale. So that's um, a time when we stock up on all of our car maintenance stuff. And then um, Patricia Mascoro got her blackout curtains going and also got some personal fans. Maggie B switched all to LED lighting and replaced her traditional light bulbs three years ago. She's thanking herself for doing that now. Jean Wright, I always put twin blankets over my doors in the winter. That's a really good tip. Tracy P, who I love, she used to she lives in one of the towns that I used to live in when I um, when I lived in Maine. She's having a wood stove installed soon, and her husband invested in a chainsaw, which is great. Michelle Moon, I saw you in the chat tonight. Turn off. She's become the turn off the lights fairy, and her kids don't appreciate it very much. Her husband cleaned the AC and the refrigerator to make sure that it's running properly, and they've been playing games at night, playing instruments, and reading novels so the TV isn't on. Brenda at My House to You has been using her crock pot so she doesn't heat up the whole house. Katie Trapnell has, oh, Katie Trapnell said, make sure you crack the stove after you use it to warm up the kitchen. Sophia Grace uh, has some motion lights and I am super happy for her. That's what we have too. Good night, Sven. Thank you so much for coming. I really appreciate you being here. Where do you get heavy blackout curtains? So I actually got some at the Goodwill one time when we lived in the tiny house and you can get them on Amazon or Walmart or one of those places, or you can just make some. You can just hang some blankets over your windows if you really want to. I'm seeing some comments about pie filling, and you're right. I have not seen very much pie filling. I bought some apple pie filling, and it had sucralose in it, and I can't have that. Yeah. Um, let's see. Kathy D only doing full loads of laundry and dishes in her dishwasher and Jeanette Lehman using major appliances after 10 PM. Super smart. Karen Perez, which Karen is a huge fan of my channel and I really appreciate her, um, has been only doing one load of laundry a week. And that was one of the tips that I had was wear your clothes more than once. And that's something that I've been doing because I work in an office and I don't sweat or get dirty during the day. So I've been, you know, if, if I have a nice shirt on and then I have a sweater over it, instead of washing the sweater, I just hang it back up. It's not, uh, it's not dirty. So, I mean, obviously you're going to wash your undies and all that, but like if you go somewhere and you just have a shirt on for a few hours, just go ahead and, uh, you know, hang it back up. Uh, Family Dollar has the blackout curtains. Thank you for saying that, Charlotte. I really appreciate that. Thank you for helping out. Uh, moving blankets from Harbor Freight. Mr. B loves a moving blanket. Okay, let's just be real. Um, let's see. Yeah. Well, I I do the the office part of the job, so I don't really I don't get dirty. Um, let's see. Comments, 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 and then oh. It's actually time to open it up to questions if anybody has questions. Uh, Texas Jan has been, uh, she got an oven type air fryer, so not to turn on the big oven. She's been meal prepping, slow cooker, and using her Instapot too. Sits and giggles. This was a first time comment for this channel that I've seen so far. Switched to blackout curtains and been keeping everything unplugged. And Kimberly Neal, I mentioned this in my last live video. She's been looking for a part-time job to help supplement her income. And I think that's everybody that I wrote down. Did I say Brenda from my house to you? I think I did. Okay. Been drying medicinal herbs like million marshmallow whorehound toothache plant. That is nice. Hoping to stay out of the doctor this year. Girl, if you can stay out of the doctor or a person, if you can stay out of the doctor, that is awesome. I have a going out outfit. I wear it all week when I have to go somewhere and I have home clothes. Yeah, so we have chore clothes or home clothes that we wear when we're not out. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So I'm... Oh, reuse your towel after showering. That's a good one. We hang ours up. We have a, a rack in the bathroom where we hang up our towel. We change it twice a week, which, you, you know, you probably want to change it twice a week. 
Does anybody have any questions for me? There's 91 people in chat. I'd really appreciate it if you um, would hit the like button. YouTube loves that like button. How much does the baby charge? I'm going to have to go back and look at that comment. <laughs> oh, hey, Brenda. Bre Brennan. A can six pounds of ground, six pints of ground beef, which is six pounds of ground beef, and seven quarts of potatoes this weekend. Froze produce from the garden, too. Excellent. Every little bit. Every little bit counts right now. So perfect. I know we, um, I just canned some chicken. I couldn't believe it. When I went to Walmart, they had so much chicken. I've never seen that much since, since 2020. I literally have not seen the chicken thing that full since 2020. So I went ahead and picked up two um, flats of the uh, breasts and just chopped them up, put them in a jar. Reorganized the pantry this afternoon and found a jar, literally a jar of beef, excuse me, and I poured it. I, I like chink chink and the little lid was up and then I poured it and it literally poured out and I was shocked because that's the first time that's ever happened to me where I've lost a seal like that. Hoping for more potatoes from the food pantry on Monday canned up the last batch that I got from them. That is awesome. I know I need to can potatoes. I actually found a 10 pound bag of potatoes today at, well, at Aldi. I had to run in there and get some uh, apples every year um i make my boss apple zucchini bread um for his birthday and his birthday is next week all right cuddle me 72 if we aren't going to finish a loaf of bread before it goes bad i turn it in bread into pb and j sandwiches for the freezer and then my husband takes them to to work for lunch that's awesome awesome this girl preps use a clothesline I am asking for a clothesline for Christmas. I don't want a present. I don't want jewelry. I don't want anything. I want a clothesline. I want a T-style clothesline with line, like with ropes that are like a line. That's what I want, and that's what I have to get. Um, Carolyn, do you have a chili or pasta meat sauce canning recipe? I don't use recipes normally when I can anymore. I've been canning for like 35 years. So that's, I have a couple of videos on canning some stuff, I, but I don't particularly use a quote unquote recipe. I also don't season heavily uh, when I can spaghetti sauce because after like five years, the or even three years, sometimes the herbs that I use get a little bitter. I prefer to can the spaghetti sauce and make it a little more bland with meat and then run in the garden and get fresh basil and maybe some fresh herbs and throw those in there. And it kind of takes the canned stuff away. What was the first thing I ever canned? So when I was 12, 12 ish years old, Mrs. Kathleen Sisler roped me into can and pickles with her. And that was the first thing I ever canned. I was in her kitchen in West Virginia and she had the water bath kettle on, which she had going pretty much all the time. She used to dip out of it and wash her face with it. She dip out of it and, you know, do her dishes, the whole everything. And we canned some pickles that afternoon. And I was pretty dang proud of myself. Yes, I was because I was just 12 years old. We cut the pit, we cut the cucumbers fresh from the garden, got her, you know, the vinegar mix and put them in. And yeah, great memory. She used to let me hang on her apron strings all the time, all the time. She always had my fingers busy too. <laughs> Hulling strawberries or picking peaches or picking stuff out of the garden, going to get the eggs. She literally was the, she is why I am the woman I am today. Thank you for bringing up that memory. That was so nice. We got about four minutes. USMC, shocked by how empty the shelves at Aldi were. We were in Illinois. And yeah, it's very sad. It really is. A clothesline would be nice. I'm asking for money so I could get more food preps. Yeah, that's, uh, that's not a bad thing. You can buy those for long-term sweet potatoes. Yeah, so um, I, I looked at some sweet potatoes that were in a pouch, like instant potatoes, but they had gluten in them and I was so bummed. Ah, thank you. That was, yeah, she was a wonderful woman. She was an amazing person and I just loved her so much. I was so sad when she died. 
how is your garden producing for you? Right now it's producing nothing um, except for habanero peppers, which I don't need. Um, my garden didn't do so hot this year. And I don't know. I don't really know. Hmm. I hope it does better in the fall, really, especially with the tomato shortage that's supposed to be coming. Um, it just didn't it just didn't go well. Sutton's Days, amazing woman, amazing canner. I love her channel. Love everything. Um, next time, share some more of those memories. Thank you. Oh, that's nice. That's sweet. All right, anybody? Um, anybody got any last minute questions? Thank you all so much. I really appreciate it. Oh, if you could say a prayer for Nathan. He has been bitten by, I think, a spider on his elbow. Um, it's it's very inflamed. And since yesterday, it's it's gotten worse. It's gotten bigger. I'm expecting necrotic flesh here any day. Um, he, you know, he's so funny. He goes to the, to the medic, the army medic, and he's like, hey, something bit me. And um, the army medic was like, wow, I think it might be, you know, some sort of insect bite or whatever. He goes, yeah, I, I'm going to ask my mom. <laughs> my husband laughed. He goes, I guess you outrank the medic. So if it was me and I was there immediately, I would have put a paste of baking soda with some lavender essential oil and probably some tea tree. Um, and at this point, when it started to get bigger, I would have done some fermented garlic with honey in a paste. Um, when he was a young, young boy, like four or five years old, he got into a wood pile and got like four brown recluse bites on his legs. And um, I literally, the when the hole opened, I stuffed a whole clove of garlic in it, put a bunch of honey in there and wrapped it. And it was gone in a few days. Um, it was, it was a, it was a hot mess back in the day, but I definitely would have, um, yeah. So I'm really praying for healing for my son and that, you know, he doesn't have to go to a hospital or anything like that. I'm hoping that they can get, um, I, I asked what they had for supplies, if they had any baking soda or if they had any essential oils or any of that stuff. And they just don't, <laughs> my poor baby. He's like, I know for sure that my mom would be able to fix it. Um, even if he could just soak it in some salt water, I think that would help tremendously if he did like a baking soda paste with salt or something, but they don't have that stuff. He's been using um, Benadryl, Advil, and um, he said it's quite painful. No fever. It's a localized bite. Um, so I don't think it was a, a brown recluse or any like black widow or anything like that. Hi, Prepper Book Club. Thanks for joining us. Really appreciate that. Yeah. Um, spiders are nasty and they carry like germ, germ, germs, like serious germs. Hi, Tammy. Yay. I'm glad. I'm glad your light bill was so low. Yeah, I'm hoping he can ask the cook for some baking soda and just some plain salt and make it into a paste and stick that on there overnight. Um, I haven't heard from him because it's like 2 a.m. there. So I, I'll probably hear from him uh, soon. Okay, you guys, thank you so, so much for watching. I really appreciate all of you being here. Thank you for the prayers. Thank you for all just watching and make, I don't think they have, well, that's probably a good tip, NG, but I don't think they have plantains where he is. He's He's um, in rural Europe, in very northern rural Europe, and I, I don't think they have plantains there. Yeah, he's in the middle of nowhere living in a tent, so with the army. But anyway, yeah, do, please don't all send him baking soda. <laughs> He'll be like, what is this? But I'm hoping that none of the other soldiers get bit either because my son is a pretty tough kid, and, you know, he's, he's been bit before, Florida boy. All right, everybody. Thank you so, so much. I really appreciate all of you. And I will see you next Saturday night. So if you have a topic, let me know. Bye. Bye-bye.